Uh, and I blew up. I cut my eye teeth on Marshall. We had a very interesting uh, college seminar, senior seminar. We spent the entire year on Marshall, going through every chapter. And it was very interesting. So I recommend it if there was uh, nothing else to read. <laughs> but it was very, certainly better than Keynes. It was very interesting because the, uh, that was considered economics. And what he did with Marshall utility theory, he, tr- he trivialized. He said, well, it applies. It's interesting. It, it fills a gap in the Ricardian program because Ricardo didn't, really, really didn't consider consumers and sort of explains consumer demand, and that's it. And we finish it off. Because, of course, as you know, the famous Marshallian scissors, uh, every price is determined partly by demand, that's the demand blade, and the supply blade, or the cost blade. And of course, the really important thing is the cost blade, because that's the long run, the real gutsy thing, the equilibrium thing. Whereas consumers are sort of, yeah, they're sort of, the, 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 the creatures of caprice and whim, and they, they change their minds all the time, however. And so the really important thing about economics is the cost. And the real important thing about cost, of course, is labor of pain, or back to Ricardo and Marx and all the rest of it. So <clears throat> it was a very clever device that he used. You can't say he ignored Marx and Philly. He just trivialized it, encapsulated in a couple of uh, appendices or whatever, and that was it. I remember when I was taking uh, <clears throat> history of school at Columbia. In those days, the Columbia Graduate School was a very high, high, top department, no question about it. Uh, and my form was present sorry state, ranked among the, among the top three graduate schools. And my, my professor was J.M. Clark, a revered figure. And uh, I asked him, I said, well, well, I didn't know anything about Austria. And I asked him about Jevons. I think Jevons was some important. Yeah, I don't have to read Jevons. He said, it's all incorporated in the Marshall. I'm sure if I had known about Austria, he would have said the same thing about that. So that takes, it sort of shoves everything aside. Marshall then takes care of everything else. And this was before the Keynesian takeover. This was the, this was the Marshallian takeover. Of course, the Keynesian takeover is really part of that. In a larger sense, as Keynes was a martial student.